Welcome to the Prairie Street Prime Culinary Kitchen. <laughs> I'm with our guest chef, David Barrazate. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good morning. David's from Caracas originally and lives in Miami. We've worked together in Miami. <laughs> we work together in New York. We work together everywhere. Today in the smoker, we're doing short ribs with a coffee rub. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Sure. So these are USDA prime short ribs. There's two kinds of fat. There's the fat on the outside of the meat that we saw with the brisket, that that kind of melts down. But the real fat that you pay for is this marbling in between. And that's gorgeous. And that will melt and render. And that's the difference between prime or high choice. That's what gives you all the flavor at the end of the day. So from the short rib, we're doing a coffee rub. It's paprika, satar, sugar, and salt. We're gonna do a dry rub on this one and I cook it as well on slow. Right, so we preheated the smoker to 235. We let that run for like 20 minutes to get everything. We actually have a full brisket in there already. So it's a good idea to get your smoker ready and at the temperature before you come in, but we're good to go. And this one will probably be ready in five hours. Right. And we take a look. I think we're gonna check in between. We might spray it a little with some apple juice or apple cider vinegar just to keep the moisture. Check on that every once in a while. And sometimes we wrap, sometimes we don't. We'll see how it goes. Have you wrapped on each side? All four. The reason I like this cut is because uh, there's three bones. So once it's cooked, you cut it and you have each portion. Each bone will be a portion. We're talking about eight to 10 ounces for each person. No accounting the bone size. Yeah, a lot of people braise these. They make them different ways. We have other videos. You should check out our channel every Sunday at 2 p.m. We publish videos, different chefs, different methods, different meats. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in the smoker. Um, I wanna show you a little trick. That I, can you open this, David, and yes. show you a little trick? So when I do briskets, I take a metal container and I put cold water in that and put it in the smoker the whole time. And that's one of my ways with these briskets to keep them hydrated without always spraying that. And it kind of keeps that steam a little, but it doesn't ruin the bark that you're creating right, there. Right. What I'm going to do is put a short ribs because placement, I'm going to put one each side. I didn't talk about that before. One here, one here. And I'm going to close it. So in general, what you want to do with the cooks is time your products. You could put multiple dishes in the same smoker. I have a big smoker here. But we know the durations will be different. So you start them at the same time, and you know when to check on them. Yes. We're going to do the vegetables yes. probably an hour before the cook's so done. So I'm going to keep it ready. Uh, we're looking on time. Bariska is going to leave it 10 hours. Shorey is going to be on five. Be before the shorey is done in four hours, I'm gonna put the corn, so I'm gonna do the corn maybe hour and a half before, 90 minutes. The sweet potatoes are pure like hour before. So you are dropping all those vegetables to get smoke and done close to the one that meat is ready. Correct, and it's very important you do to make a schedule. Many times actually with brisket, what I'll do is if I know a company because it's a big piece of meat yeah. and it needs a long rest, is I'll prep it the day before. And one of the things I like to do yeah. is put the salt on the day before, especially in a big piece of meat, because with see. the salt, it brings the moisture to the top. Yeah. It creates like a yeah, little tunnel and then it comes down and you get that yes. flavor comes inside. That's and awesome. In the meantime, also I want to serve for you guys some sweet potato smoke. I have harissa um, oil powder. I'm just going to rub it around. And that skin is going to be amazing because it's going to really soften up and be beautiful. I think I'm going to add a pinch of salt on this. Now this salt with harissa and olive oil, they're going to stick to it. Okay. And pepper. So I'm going to create a little crust and soft. Excellent. So we're going to get back to this about an hour before the cook is finished. Yes. Because if you put it up too early, it's just going to be soft. And um, that's part uh, of the game yeah, is prepping at the end that everything is ready in the right condition. Yeah, it's finished. also like talking about that. you got a uh, time management when you're doing what you're cooking. Right. It's all simple things, but not everything cook at the same time or equally. So basically, a chef like him doesn't need a piece of paper, but he has a schedule in his head. He starts with the longest time cooks, starts with that. We put up the briskets early, the full brisket, even yeah. though we're not exactly. filming today. We do that. We do the short ribs next layer because it's going to be a shorter cook. And then we'll time later for, for the, the vegetables, vegetables yes. and that will be the grand finale. I mean, uh, These pieces are going to need a good 
half hour to hour to rest. Yeah. And so we might even put it up almost when it's finished it's instead of an hour on, yeah. before. So then there'll be okay. actually time together. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Let's do that. Okay, we're going to do that. Great job. We'll Thank see you guys, guys later you guys when we come back. Okay, guys, so now we're closer to the finish the meat, about 10 minutes away. But I did, um, I, go, I would like to add the vegetables on the smoker right now. I'm gonna add the corn and add the sweet potatoes in. The reason I put it in 30 minutes instead of 90 minutes is because the meat is gonna let it rest it for a, another full hour after it's done. Right. So they're gonna be with the timing, like everything's gonna be done at the same time. Ready to go. And that's what we're always thinking yeah. about is how to finish the meal that all <laughs> the courses are done simultaneously. Safety first, to just to rest the sweet potatoes. And I, they'll be calling me tomorrow to tell them to clean it. But it's how we do. So now they, they have the, put the vegetables in the place. I'm gonna leave it a rest. And uh, coming back in 30 minutes to remove the meat, let it rest. Always. It's very important because yeah. the juices need to redistribute them. And if you don't, if you take a big piece of meat <laughs> and you don't let it rest, you're just gonna blow all your all 10 right. hours of hard work. Okay. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, now we finish the we short ribs with the I'm coffee. Really and I have to tell you, I took a little peek before. <laughs> that crust and that bark that you made is just amazing. So why don't we show the people right, what we're looking at here. Look at this short ribs. We're gonna take a look at this one. Oh my God. Look at that crust. And that's just perfect. Nice and crusty coffee up. Oh, that looks just amazing. <laughs> Even though you want to dive into it right away, it's very important for a big piece of meat that you let this rest. So I'll see you in an hour. Okay, this is what we've been waiting for. Are Time to taste. Let's see if you, you know rest. what you're doing. Let's try. Wow, this looks like it's cutting like butter. It is. It's kind of delicate if I manipulate a lot, it may fall apart. Look at the marmalade fat. Wow, look at that. That's just amazing. I like, I like the ring. How do you call that? The, the ring. smoke ring. The smoke ring. Look at right. the smoke ring on this. this That's plate. the badge of honor that you really smoked it when it has that pink ring around. It doesn't really add flavor to it. The smoking is what adds flavor, but it's kind of the signature to prove that you've smoked it. Should you want me to take it out of the bone? Any way you want. I'm just gonna I think so, because this isn't really a, a bone people suck on that much. It's more no, of a harder so, bone, but it, it but protects I, the meat and it's really it's good. It's been there too. for a lot of hours, so yeah. it, it kind of fell off out of the bone, look. Oh, that's amazing. And then we do that. You don't even need a wood stuff knife for that. It's just so buttery. You do the first pick. I'm gonna go for the crust, I always do, but this every piece is great crust. It was just amazing. I have to tell you, this is amazing. And I've never had a cup of coffee in my life because also, I don't like also, the taste. I'm also, also waiting for that because I, your face tastes a lot. So guys, they never drink coffee. What's cool is when you cook with coffee, it seems like the coffee taste isn't pronounced. It's yeah. kind of embedded and it made the crust. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't really taste the coffee, or I wouldn't be eating it. But this is amazing. And these are dish, guys. Nice strawberry for a primary street prime. Just come out perfectly with the coffee rub. It's totally amazing. PrairieStreetPrime.com. You could buy this yourself. Go on our channel, YouTube backslash Prairie Street Prime. Every Sunday at 2 o'clock, we publish new videos. We'd love for you to help support. We put a lot of energy into making these videos. We'd love you to subscribe, like, comment, tell us what you'd like to see in the future. We're going to bring back this guy again. He's just too much fun. Besides being fun, he's just an amazing cook. Contact us, info at Prairie Street Prime. You're interested in a private chef, concierge. We got you covered here. This guy's amazing. Thank, Thank you, you, David. Next time. Was, yeah, amazing. Thank you. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreetprime.com to shop for your next big meal.